go to 859 area code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? Hi, Sam. This is Corey from Maryland. How are you? Corey from Maryland. What's on your mind? So much to uh, Joe Rogan, uh, Sorrow, I am, I've loved playing video games since I was a kid. And recently, the next Call of Duty has announced itself. I don't know if you have noticed this one or kept track of this one. But they've announced that this one takes place during the Cold War. And <laughs> during the reveal tra trailer for this, you get you are in a room during one of the cutscenes and you directly get orders from Ronald Reagan to protect the free world from <laughs> from the evils that this, that have befallen it in the 80s. Oh. And oh wait. And all I can <laughs> from the evils that had I, befallen it in the 80s or are you talking about the Soviet Union? I'm I'm well, however you want to interpret that. You are just literally given carte blanche from Reagan to go protect the free world. Okay. <laughs> it's so vague. Well, when but, you're when you're but, there with Reagan, maybe there's something you can do right in that moment that could help. I'm really hope I'm really hoping I can just play as Oliver North and protect the free world by uh, selling weapons to Iran. That's that's really what I'm hoping for here. But what what I've often and I was just hoping to get perspective on this, but people for a while now have been talking about how games have been gotten more political, and I can't think of a game that has literally. Tr try to like walk that line of we have a message but don't really deliver a message than call of duty because literally every single game has just been nothing but one war zone after another quite literally they think they call it their more recent uh multiplayer thing war zone like quite literally and i just want to get your thoughts on like your opinion on like when like any type of entertainment medium whether it's in video games or in television or what have you just try to strive that that line of we want to deliver a political message, but we also don't want to like make like the masters in charge of all the money that are helping us do this mad yeah. with anything overtly political. I just want to get your thoughts on that. All right, appreciate the call, Corey. Here's uh, here's Reagan. Mr. President, this is Jason Hudson and Russell. Adams. I know their names. Who do you think approved their last mission? <laughs> is the threat real? Yes, sir, we believe it is. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition for my team. Sir, their requests are highly irregular. That Alexander Haig? illegal if the press gets mm. on. What the hell are you talking about? Do you know who we are? Every mission we go on is illegal. Sergeant Woods, plausible deniability is the backbone of our work. Al, we're talking about preventing an attack on the free men and women of the world. Give Mr. Adler whatever he wants. Gentlemen, you've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. Okay, we don't there need to see no one. Yeah. And uh, now, now, people should know what happens after this. Um, the president leaves the room and Haig turns to all these guys and say, okay, here's the thing. He's suffering from severe dementia. <laughs> so just play along. Don't you're not going on any type of mission. This is all just part to make him feel good. Uh, we're just doing it as part of like, you know, we do this about half an hour a week just to indulge him. And that, that way he feels like he's still president. Um, I love the idea. It really reminds me of that Phil Hartman sketch on Saturday Night Live, which was hilarious because it showed ronald reagan as being competent uh secretly competent like he would yeah. be the uh the the lovable you know a sweet yep. guy and then uh the 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 little boy scout would stop taking the picture and then they would leave the room and he'd be like all right back in here and he'd just like completely super efficient ronald reagan um i think like the plausible deniability i think was uh pretty plausible let's put yeah. it that way when it came to a lot of his stuff but it would be odd. Awesome. Could could can you be one of those guys and just like take out Reagan in a weapon <laughs> <laughs> right there, just like boom, just save the free world. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I mean, look, those games—they're not apolitical. They're like advised by Pentagon people, yeah. uh, particularly those Call of Duty, the major AAA games. Those all have State Department folks all over the making of those. And I would say the reason they can't actually say true history and sort of devolve into myth and like created um stories is because if they actually did the true history they'd be the bad guys and uh so you well, can't actually convey them i mean what what we call apolitical 
very often means that it is the political perspective of the people who own the conventional wisdom mm -hmm. and have the power. And that's what's called a political. That's what the norm is. And any dissenting view of history or the dynamic that's taking place currently is considered political. And that in and of itself is a technique in which you put people outside of the, um, the conversation. And so, of course, that's political. You know, of course it is. But because there's the, you know, it's just sort of this mainstream thing that any, any you know, like, look, Gamergate, right? Like, the idea that uh, the only women who appeared in, in video games were essentially like, you know, uh, street walking prostitutes. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but that's a limited perspective on uh, women's roles in the context of, you know, they're there to service the hero, essentially. Um, well, don't forget, there's Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, right? Well, she, uh, she really leaned into having enormous tits. <laughs> But I, but I think this was the, the this was the big fight with Gamergate was that just this perspective of like hey maybe we shouldn't be you know we shouldn't uh, traffic in these type of sort of like broad uh, generalizations or limited perspectives. Was, um, it was, was about bad. ethics in video games journalism. Sorry mm -hmm. to interrupt, but I need mm -hmm. to correct you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I've no. I've been told that. I've been. I've definitely been told that. I think specifically, I've been told that. <laughs> um, on the IMs, uh, 